Breaking news. It's high time citizens bear arms for protection. Masary. Hello, my wonderful people. The governor of Castina State, where Buhari uh, apparently came from. This is not the first time he's saying it that um, citizens should be given the right to carry weapons and to protect themselves and to be able to look after themselves. This is not the first time he's saying it. He has said it before, he's saying it again, and he continues to say it. That this is the this is, I mean, this is the right thing to do. People should be able to look after themselves, protect themselves, because this evil set of people are, you know, are causing unbearable and unimaginable pain and suffering on people. And the right thing for people to do now is to rise up. You know, it's for people to be able to. You know, people should be able to protect themselves because when these people invade, most of the people are armless. They, they don't even know what to do. They're so defendless, defenseless, and then these people take advantage of them and they say, no, it is not the right thing to do. The right thing to do is that people should be able to look after themselves, defend themselves, no matter what is going on. We saying the people should not carry arms. Why those people are carrying arms? It's not a, it's not a good state to be. Those people are taking advantage of it and are committing all forms of atrocities. And in his opinion, he feels very strongly that people should be, you know, people should be uh, enabled. Let's get to all the details. Governor of Castina says it's high time citizens bear arms for protection. As part of the measures to curb the spread of insecurity, especially in the northwest of the country, the chairman of the Northwest Governors Forum, Aminu Bello Masari, has called for permission to allow citizens of the country to bear arms for self-defense. Masari, who is the governor of Castina State, said it is totally unacceptable to allow criminals to carry arms and use the same to attack and kill unarmed people. It's not done. The governor stated this when he led some of his colleagues in the, reg in the region on a condolence visit to Sokoto State Governor Aminu Waziri Tabowa of the, and the people of the state. He empathized that dealing with insecurity has nothing to do with region or ethnic group. He said, we need an unusual approach to deal with these people who are nothing but animals, terrorizing our people across the country. He called for collective efforts by both the leaders and its citizens to take ownership of all its forests across the country from bandits and other criminal activities. In his remark, the governor of Kanu State, Dr. Amenio Ganduji, also described the reserve forests, especially in the northern part of the country, as home for these criminals. He said the call for reclaiming of the forest is now or never. It is more issue of farming. It is no more issue of farming or hunting in our forests. But for us to take full ownership of the forest, he added. Responding, Sokoto State Governor commended the governors for their, for their entourage and finding time to visit the state on the very time of their need. He described the bandit killing people as criminals who do not have an ideology or target anyone irrespective of religion or political affinity. He re-emphasized that the president, Muhammad Buhari, should declare a state of emergency in some areas of the north occupied by these bandits in the country. He said those will help the military to deal with them in the best language they will understand. Others on the entourage of the visit to the governor were the Kanu State Governor's Senators representing the House of Representatives, Honorables, and others who went on the visit. So, listen, we have not heard from the Attorney General. With all that is going on, people being born to life, we've not heard a single word from the Attorney General. But when what happened, just before the build up to the Anambra state election, we heard the governor, we heard the uh, the attorney general of the federation 
asking and saying that very soon they will declare a state of emergency, you know, in a state of emergency very soon will be declared in Anambra State said because there is a lot of insecurity. Now the real place where there is insecurity, we've not heard a single word. He has not declared state of emergency. You see why the country cannot move forward? Because of the stinge of lies, the stinge of corruption going on, because you, they are not from your region, because they are not from your, your place. Okay? The, yes, they should declare state of emergency. Okay? But in your own region where there is the, where that really needs the, a state of emergency, nothing is being done. You see, human being, uh, unless we begin to rise up as one people, one voice, one unit and speak up and refuse all those things going on, I wonder when and how we'll come out of this. There are a lot of them who do not care how others feel. In fact, they do not even want to understand what is going on and what is called humanity. Okay, they don't want to know and they don't want to understand it at all. Yet, nothing is being said in that light in that regard nothing is being said they go scot-free why people are the one bearing the bonds do you know how many children are orphans today and the government is not even aware how they eat not to talk about when they go to school or what is going on with them how they are being looked after how they are being fed no such thoughts given to them at all yet the government is making plans and ensuring that the very people who are causing all this catastrophe you know, they are the ones, you know, Gumi is saying they should give them lands, they should pay them, they should give them money, that then they will drop their arms. What about the people, the lives and property that has been destroyed? What will happen to those people? What will happen to the people, the children that have become orphans, the men that have become widower, the, you know, they, I mean, they burn people alive, and yet, you say they, 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 they want something, and until they get that thing, the government will not have a rest. And everybody's quiet. Mm. And everybody's keeping them and just watching these things going on. Listen, guys. We just need to come out of this very, you know, these lies we keep deceiving ourselves with. Because to a large extent, the people you think, okay, are leaders and should be understanding and working for the people. Do not do that at all. Leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you. Please do not forget to like us, mm. share, subscribe. God bless you. Do have a lovely and a fantastic mm -hmm. day. Remember that we are all in this together and we must all speak out. We can't be quiet in the face of oppression. God bless. Bye for now.